Australia's Arnhem Space Centre will soon be a launch base for French rockets under a deal cemented in Paris overnight. The partnership will see the first test flights by French firm Sirius Space Services from 2026. Joining me live is Equatorial Launch Australia Chief Executive Michael Jones. Thanks for your time. So, Arnhem, uh, you know, there's not a lot around it, but what makes this so good for rocket launches? Yeah, well, weirdly enough, the not much around it actually makes it pretty good, as well as the proximity to the equator. Um, the fact that we also um, have a landmass in Australia that is very lightly populated allows us to do the very unique thing of um, fire rockets over land, which is an unusual um, thing from a global perspective. Um, but also the company that we sort of operate have, um, right from the start, gone out to sort of try and change the paradigm a little bit of how rocket launch is done. And I think that's becoming more and more attractive to our customers as they you know, are all increasing their access to space. And what makes Arnhem, you know, best place to cash into that? Because has it traditionally been the bigger areas, the US, the resources are around there, but are we competing on, on economical grounds as well? Yeah, so historically, obviously, NASA since the 60s, uh, um, Soyuz for the Russians, the Chinese are now entered into the space race, you know, with a huge amount of vigour. And um, the French government itself has a space base at Kourou in French Guiana. Um, but they're all federally owned or sovereign launch cap capabilities where they generally um, sort of restrict their their access um, to their key operators. And in the US, as an example, Kennedy Cape Canaveral and also Vandenberg Air Force Base on the West Coast um, used to be the domain of US Space Force, um, all of their intelligence community at NASA. But now, obviously, Elon Musk and SpaceX have taken that mantle. So there is definitely a gap in the capability globally for a new space port with a capability to be able to launch on a high cadence into space. Um, and also that geopolitical and geographic advantage that we have gives them access to um, new orbits that they wouldn't normally have. And um, with the proliferation of satellites being put into space for it's going to impact everything we do every day. And so it, 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 there's a real mm. increase in demand for space launch. Yeah, I guess where we are is so crucial, isn't it, to an element perhaps of being, I know the lucky country was once a pejorative, but it seems that way for space. Uh, we are out of time. Uh, Michael Jones, thanks for your time today.